we are given the sequence 0, 2, 2, 4, 6, 10, 16, 26, 42, and so on, given by the recursive definition a sub n equals a sub n minus 1 plus a sub n minus 2, with a sub 0 equals 0 and a sub 1 equals 2. We're asked to find the first few terms of the sequence of partial sums. To begin, s sub 0 is equal to the sum of the first term, or just the first term, a sub 0. s sub 0 is equal to a sub 0, which is 0. s sub 1 is equal to the sum of the first two terms, or a sub 0 plus a sub 1, which is 0 plus 2, which is 2. s sub 2 is equal to a sub 0 plus a sub 1 plus a sub 2 which is zero plus two plus two, which is four. Or we can also say that S sub two is equal to S sub one plus A sub two, where S sub one is two, A sub two is two, and two plus two is four. This is more helpful when we're determining the partial sums of more and more terms. S sub three is equal to A sub zero plus A sub one plus a sub two plus a sub three, which is equal to zero plus two plus two plus four, which is equal to eight, or s sub three is equal to s sub two plus a sub three, which is equal to four plus four, which is eight. Next, s sub four is equal to a sub zero plus a sub one plus a sub two plus a sub three plus a sub four, which is equal to zero plus two plus two plus four plus six, which is 14, or S sub four is equal to S sub three plus A sub four, which is eight plus six, which is 14. And finally, S sub five is equal to A sub zero plus A sub one plus A sub two plus A sub three plus A sub four plus A sub five, which is equal to zero plus two plus two plus four plus six plus 10, which is 24. Or we can say S sub five is equal to S sub four plus A sub five, which is 14 plus 10, which is 24. For part B, we're asked to determine a formula for S sub N expressed in terms of a single term from the sequence given by a sub n. To do this, let's list out the first several terms of the original sequence right above the terms of the sequence given by the partial sums. So the original sequence is zero, two, two, four, six, ten, and so on, where the terms are a sub zero, a sub one, a sub two, a sub three, a sub four, a sub five, and so on. And the terms from the sequence of partial sums are zero, two, four, eight, 14, 24, and so on. And these terms are S sub zero, S sub one, S sub two, S sub three, s sub four, s sub five, and so on. And again, we're trying to find a formula for s sub n using the terms from visual sequence a sub n. Looking for a pattern, notice that two minus two is zero, four minus two is two, six minus two is four, and 10 minus two is eight. So notice how to find any term s sub n, we take the term a sub n plus two and subtract two. And therefore the formula for s sub n expressed in terms of a single term from a sub n is s sub n equals a sub n plus two minus two. And again, let's just go ahead and check this. Notice s sub one is equal to a sub three minus two s sub two is equal to a sub four minus two, s sub three is equal to a sub five minus two, and so on. I hope you found this helpful.